Hey everyone, it's Merc, and today we're taking a look at a sovereign citizen who ran a stop sign and turns a simple ticket into an arrest when he also refuses to identify himself. Let's roll the video! What's up? Hey David. Hey. Tell you who he is yet? What's that? Tell you who he is yet? It's not. All right, let's just take him out and bring him back so we can identify him. Well, yep. I was just trying to see if we had anything on there so I could at least come up and already have his information, but it's a rental car. Yep. And I got nothing else on No idea who it is? No, I've never even seen this guy before. Blew right through the stop sign, but he is not, uh, he said he's, he doesn't have to stick around. I was like, okay, well, I'm advising you legally you have to stay here. Yeah, he's detained. Have you like All right. You got a rental car, brother. You, had to, uh, you got to have a contract for a right and a driver's license. I need to see that. Four ten four. Pardon me. I'm give you a little bit of insight. My uncle was first sergeant military police. Okay. My cousin is a police officer in Genesee County. Okay. Who is it in Genesee County? That would be. Morgan. So anyway, I also have had a federal security clearance, a high security public trust, right? So I'm all about Constitution. Okay. So I need you as a public servant because am I a public servant or are you the public servant? So are you, you're correct. I'm the public servant. Good. You have an oath of office that Constitution. Am I correct? What's the Tenth Amendment? So I'm not going to get into that. So you. you don't. No, 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 I'm going to roll up the window. I'm going to have 203 start this way as well. 196 to 203 if you can enter this location. Next step is I call 911 and I get spot here. Oh, please call the police on the police because that strategy always works. The only thing you'll accomplish by doing that is picking up a misuse of 911 charge. We are SWAT. We are SWAT, so... Good. You're an insurrectionist at this point in time because if you're trying to demand anything out of me... We need to I'll identify you, sir. I have no problem with giving you my license and what have you. What I'm doing is I'm ensuring you're abiding by your oath to the Constitution. So we need to see your driver's license. You don't and your need to see anything from me because you are a public servant. I have the right to travel under the Ninth Amendment. I have right, First Amendment right, freedom of exercise of religion. Freedom of exercise of religion. So what does that have to do with you committing I'm a vehicle and traffic law da, 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 Stop interrupting me. You're the public servant. First Amendment. Freedom of exercise of religion. Right. Does it state that clearly? So what I don't understand, sir, is what does it have to so, do with you not stopping well, at a stop sign That's what I'm getting to. Are you going to answer speeding? my question? No, I need to see your driver's yes. license and registration. If you're not going to answer my question, then we're not... Do you want to act like a public servant and answer my question, or do sir, I, you, you want to act like you're the authority when you have done? It seems to me like this guy thinks public servant means personal slave, which clearly isn't how any of this works. And stop with the right to travel nonsense. We've heard that argument time and time again. You do have the right to travel, but driving is a privilege, not a right. It's turned this from a, just a simple traffic stop. So what I'm doing is I'm asserting my rights as a U.S. citizen and validating that you're not abiding by your oath to the Constitution. So my job here today so is to your monitor job here traffic today safety. is to enforce the law. Is that correct? Correct, which you violated. No, because the first, the, which is the supreme law of the land, Marbury versus Madison, if a law is created that violates a constitutional standard, it is automatically null and void. So, sir, is that how does correct? That have to do if you have an oath to the Constitution. To so that's what I'm getting to. Did you? Do, what's the freedom? Well, I don't of understand. 
So if you don't understand, I'm free to, to educate you. And are you going to listen, you yelling at sir? Me? Pennsylvania because versus Mims. Not listening to sir, me. Pennsylvania versus Mims says that we have the right to ask you out of the car. You don't have any rights to the First Amendment, separation of church and state. Gotta love how they cherry pick Supreme Court rulings, but they completely ignore the ones that don't fit their narratives, like Pennsylvania versus Mims. That's Supreme Court case law. Supreme Court case, Marbury versus Madison. If a law is made that violates the constitutional standard, it's automatically null and void. Sir, you can either give us your license or you have to step out of the vehicle. It's your choice. <sighs> There's all the doors in line too. Yep. It's annoying, isn't it? I'm here till time. Yeah. I've already fought a course case in North Carolina Wander. Just let you know. I had it thrown out, it was dismissed. For the same principle I'm stating with you right now. Okay. So do you think you have the authority? You violated vehicle and traffic law. Which law is that? 1172A. State law? New York State vehicle and traffic law. Who? State, you have, state constitution refers to the U.S. Constitution as the supreme law of the land. Is that correct? We're not doing this, sir. If you're not doing it, then I'm not doing it. Okay. This 203 responded. 203, did you say you're responding here? Yep, I'm on my way there now. Done for. Calling 911. Four. County, just here advised this driver's calling 911. Yeah. Niagara County 911, where's your emergency? Yeah, I don't know where it exactly is. What road am We're I on? We're on Rui Road, sir. Do we? We're on Rui Road. Rui? Okay, I'll let you, the officer explain. Right now I have a couple police officers. I'm trying to assert my rights under the Constitution. First Amendment, separation of church of state. But states clearly in the First Amendment that the freedom of exercise of religion, that freedom of exercise, if Congress can't pass law, then they can't violate the, the judicial department, can't enforce the law, that's the supreme law of the land. I'm asserting that with these officers, they're pulling me over for a traffic violation, which is state law. And the, on the federal level, they refuse to abide by their oath of office to the Constitution. Now they're acting under the Tenth Amendment, which states clearly to the state or the people. It's not exclusive to the state. So that said, they don't have any authority nor jurisdiction in this matter. Even if I did go through a stop sign, there's nobody that was hurt or injured, which doesn't make it a crime. And since I follow common law, which is five of the Ten Commandments, no murder, no theft, no coveting, no burying, false witness, and no adultery, they are currently committing an insurrection. Well, I don't know if I did or not. That's what they're proclaiming, but state law doesn't supersede federal law. What a load of word salad that was. If you really believe everything you just said, why not provide your documentation, take your ticket, and make these arguments to a judge in court? Federal law, First and Tenth Amendment, as well as the Ninth Amendment apply here, and they're violating the rules of the Constitution, which in turn would make them insurrectionists. Now, I have police officers in my family and what have you. Sir, my name is Richard Ewart, driver's license. You are E W E R T, and just for fun, because I I don't have any problem with giving them a, my license and wavy. I'm just kind of asserting my rights at the moment. My driver's license number, if you need, is. Okay. So again, there were. If you want to have the argument about it being commercial or what have you, because that's what driving is referencing. That's why you would need a license if you're working under commercial, which I technically am at the moment, but nevertheless the ninth moment still applies. Do you have an emergency? The emergency is these cops are violating my constitutional rights okay, and they we're refuse to leave. on the way over to speak with you. You can speak with the lieutenant when he gets there, but unfortunately right now you're tying up an emergency line for somebody that could be in cardiac arrest or having trouble breathing or 
Well, they did try to say that I have to step out of the vehicle and they're trying to demand things out of me. We're acting like they have the authority when they're public servants. On the way there, you can speak with the lieutenant when he gets there, okay? Alrighty. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Where were you headed to when you were driving down there? He's delivering some food. Where are you delivering? Go ahead. I don't know the exact address. Do you think they called for that gentleman and David Everton? Well, you've been doing DoorDash for him. I've been doing Uber and like everything. 10 we heard. Like I said, I don't have any problems with you guys. I'm not a beef on the police. Wait, did you just say you were on your way to deliver a DoorDash or Uber Eats order? So you admit you were driving in commerce. Which even, according to sovereign citizen logic, when you're driving in commerce, you're required by law to have a driver's license. Anything like that, I'm fully on your side, but when it comes to constitutional rights, especially with the Democrats being the way they are, I'm making sure that I'm asserting my rights. Do you have that rental agreement on you, sir? No, it's actually at home. Okay. I guess my thing is, is, is you don't either don't believe me that you ran directly through a stop sign, or I... you didn't stop at all. You went directly through a stop sign and are speeding. Well, I wouldn't say I was speeding, I wouldn't know that, but again, the stop sign, to me, I'm not, I didn't see the stop sign, so if I did, it's because I didn't see it. That's fine, and we could so, have gone a whole different route over this, other than... Exactly, and right. I just wanted to ask you questions, but and I needed to refuse to answer. It's not for you to ask me questions. It is my job. I was to you, I came up to you, all it I doesn't said is make I need to difference. see your driver's license. Again, you're the public servant, right? Correct. But so no if I ask you a question, if you wanted to keep it cordial and everything, you would right. have answered the question. Right, but you're not even identifying who you were to me. I don't have to identify you. do, though, because no, you're driving on a New York State roadway. You need to Ninth produce. Amendment. Sir, it has nothing to do right with to that. travel. Sir, you can speak with my supervisor. I'm the supervisor. Okay. It's New York State law. This is a traffic stop. Identify yourself or you're going to be arrested for obstruction in a misdemeanor. Sounds like the supervisor that you've demanded isn't messing around. All right, you have an oath of constitution, is that correct? Yes. There we go. Okay. It's time to get out of the car and identify yourself. So if you go and do what you're doing, yep. you're violating the girl's constitution. Nope. Yes. You're, accused, you're detained right now. You're accused of committing a crime, a vehicle and traffic law. You have to identify yourself. It's basic when you're 16 years old to get your license. Mm -hmm. I'm Lieutenant Split, and it's 203. You're going to identify yourself to these officers right now. Why are you not identifying yourself? I already did actually on the 911 call. I gave my uh, driver's license number and everything. But as far as that's concerned, you, again, you have an oath of the Constitution. Are you going to allow me to speak? I'll clarify this for you. Yep. Are you going to identify yourself? Are you going to allow me to clarify yes. everything? Yes. So I already did on the 911 call. I actually gave you, did you happen to take notice of the driver's license number that I gave? They get ran it. Well, we wouldn't be able to do that because we're having a conversation while okay. you're giving that so to either dispatch. Way, right? We have a hold to the Constitution. Now, keep in mind, I don't need anybody. Again, as I iterated to them, my uncle was first sergeant military. My cousin is uh, works in as police over in my town, Jensen County. Right? So I have no problem with the police. What I'm doing right now is I'm asserting my rights. I'm making sure you're abiding by your oath to that Constitution. Why is that important to this? Because what I'm saying to you right now, because as much as you're trying to come at me, keep in mind I have the full legal right to remove Joe Biden from his office right now with the same contacts. Are you okay? Do Are you, know, you do, okay? Do you, do you know what year it is? Even the supervisor thinks this guy is delusional. What does Biden have anything to do in regards to this traffic stop? This stop could have been done and over with by now. Remember, this was all because he allegedly ran a stop sign. Instead, this sovereign citizen decided to misuse 911 and waste multiple resources. The officer should just pull him out of the vehicle already and arrest him. Do you know what year it is? Do you know what year it is? Okay. Let me clarify this for you because you want to have this kind of argument. Do you proclaim December the 12th month? Of the year? Yes. <laughs> Even though the word itself state literally it's means the 10th month? Sir, okay, I don't know if this is the mental health issue. I don't know if you don't know I want to help you. Know. I don't know if this is the mental health issue. I want to help people too. Is this a mental health issue stuff. or are you yeah, That you sounds like you do have one because if you proclaim December to be the 12th month when it literally means the 10th, 
means you're probably okay. not in your right identify mind. Identify yourself to these police officers, please. Right now, identify yourself to these police officers. So are you doing an insurrection against people at the You're moment? You're about to be removed from this vehicle. Shut the car off. Shut the car off. Shut right. the car off. Let's go, ready? Ready? Shut, Shut the car off. Shut it off right now. Come on. Shut it off. Get out of the car. Step out. On your stomach. Roll over. So now you just committed right assault. On your stomach right now. Give me your hand. Now you just committed assault. Relax your arm. Your hand. Relax your arm. I am fully Relax your arm. You committed assault. Nope. You tried to close the window on me after I told you to get out of the vehicle. Taking multiple chances to identify yourself. Now I told you quite often that you're in search of people. You want a double cut on him? No. Do you have any weapons in the car? No, well, now you're performing illegal search and seizure. Violation of the Fourth Amendment. Alright, sir. Alright, brother. If you want, roll to your side here. And sit on your bottom. No. Sit up. Ready? Up on your feet. One, two, right, one, three. three. Okay. Back to three. Please pat him down. Yes, sir. I don't have any weapons. No, oh, we gotta check you anyway. I have a right to wear them anyway under the second amendment. Okay. Yep. Just keys in his right front pocket. Alright. Have a seat, sir. Alright, sit tight. The rest of the video is just the right to jail, which is uneventful, so I'll end the video here. This sovereign citizen turned a minor stop sign violation into a trip to jail. If I had to guess, he was likely charged with obstruction and possibly resisting arrest. I feel bad for the DoorDash or Uber Eats customer who didn't receive their order because of this guy and his foolishness, although that person probably got a refund on their order. The car was a rental and it was impounded. As always, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my channel members for your support. I really appreciate all of your support and all of you are awesome. And that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.